Hi guys, what's up? This is Shomit Sage and welcome back to another video on my channel. And if you're struggling uh, with the tax information that YouTube has uh, just now asked from all of you, and if you are struggling with it, so you are at the right destination as today in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can uh, add your tax information. But this video is for all those uh, creators out there and YouTubers who are under 18 and are uh, really confused how they would uh, apply for the tax information so, so guys i am uh, under 18 i am just 17 years old and i have completed my tax uh, information uh, application that has to be given to youtube and i would today i would show you how you can do that with your channel as well if you are under 18 Okay, guys, before I take you to the AdSense screen, I just want to tell you that uh, if you're confused between which PAN card that you have to give on the form uh, as it asks for a PAN card. Uh, so guys, here you can give uh, the PAN card of your parents or any guardian if you are under 18. But if you're not under 18 and if you're an adult, uh, so you have to give your own PAN card. In such cases where you are under 18, you can give a PAN card of your parents. So no worries, I would show you how you have to uh, go with this form. So stay tuned till the end of this video. So guys, uh, when you go to your AdSense account uh, and login in it, you have to go to the payments option. Then under that, you have to click on settings. Then under that, in, under manage tax info, you have to select United States tax info. And this page would appear on your screen. So guys, the first thing it would ask from you would be whether you are an individual or a non-individual or entity. So if you're an individual creator, you have to select individual or if you are not an individual creator, you are in business entity or something, then you have to select non-individual slash entity. After you have done that, next thing it would ask from you would be whether you are a citizen or resident of United States or not. So if you're not a resident of United States, you have to select no. Now guys, the next thing it's asking is uh, uh, the W8 tax form type. So this is the form that you have to fill. So guys, if you're an Indian, you have to select the W8 BEN form and then just click on next. Uh, and if you're not an Indian and you are outside US, then you have to select the W8 ECI form and then click on next. Now guys, after you have selected the uh, type of form you have to fill according to your country. Uh, now in my case, I have selected the W8 BEN tax form. Uh, so it has taken to me to this page as you can see on the screen now guys here I would have to fill some of the details that it asked from me and guys here I want you to have a, uh, a company an adult uh, who can fill this form for you now guys uh, on the name of individual you have to give your name uh, this should match the name on your AdSense account so you have to uh, make sure that happens now guys, the second thing is DBA doing a business. So if you're not into in business, you have to just leave this uh, option. So country of citizenship, uh, in my case, it's India. So I have selected India. Now guys, the main thing comes here is the taxpayer identification number. Now guys, most of you would have a uh, problem in this because most of you would be under 18. I know that. And you have to give your PAN card number here. Now guys, you would be uh, confused uh, between foreign TIN or US ITIN or SSN. Just make one thing clear that if you are an Indian, you have to fill the foreign TIN option and ignore the US ITIN or SSN. Now guys, here I want you to give the uh, PAN card number of your father or mother or any other guardian and just click on next. Guys, this taxpayer identification number is just to check whether your country's uh, tax uh, procedures match or are associated with the US tax procedures or not. I am just telling you in a simplified way. I could be wrong, but this is the gist of what it means. So you have to just give the PAN card number of yourself. If you are an uh, above 18 person, if you are an under 18, then you have to give the uh, PAN card of your father, mother or any guardian. Now, if you click on next, it would ask for your address. So give your address that matches the uh, address on your AdSense account. This is very important. You have to give the same address. And then uh, permanent resident address is uh, same as postal address. You have to select that. Now guys in tax treaty, you have to select uh, uh, whatever I have selected on my uh, screen. You can see you have to select those settings and just click on next. 
and guys at the end you have to just put your signature uh, you can put your name and click on next uh, just select these two uh, uh, boxes and just click on next and guys do remember to take out the printout of the pdf that is attached with this form uh, you may require it in the future and guys make sure uh, that you fill this form by the end of this month okay guys so that's it for this video so this was my take on how you can apply for the tax information on adsense if you are under 18 and if you have any queries regarding this procedure then you can feel free to ask me in the comment section below and guys one more thing uh, that i want to tell you and it's highly recommended that you uh, do these steps or procedure uh, under the guidance of any adult it can be your parents uh, your your some brother or your relative because uh, this procedure uh, requires uh, somebody who is an adult so i would recommend that you do this procedure uh, under the guidance of your parents or any adult and guys uh, one thing I just want to tell you that don't do this uh, on your own because if you end up uh, damaging this form, then uh, there's no way that you're gonna uh, again refill this form and then you're gonna uh, risk your uh, YouTube earning as well. So do uh, keep this in mind. Thank you for watching and I would see you around in my next video. Bye-bye.